congruence of triangles. Two triangles are said to be congruent when you can place one triangle above the other and it fits in perfectly. This means that the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles of both the triangles are equal. Which means a total of six conditions has to be satisfied for two triangles to be congruent. Let's say that triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent. This implies that the side AB is same as side PQ. The side BC is the same as side QR and the side AC is the same as side PR. Also, angle A is equal to angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q. And angle C will be equal to angle R. That gives us a total of 6 conditions. Now the question is, do we need to check if all the 6 conditions are satisfied to make sure the two triangles are congruent? And the answer is no. Only 3 conditions would be enough. But these conditions should be properly chosen. Based on the conditions chosen, we have 4 different types of congruence properties. The first property is the SSS congruence property. SSS stands for side, side and side, which means the length of the three sides of one triangle is exactly equal to the length of the sides of the other triangle. So in our example, if AB is equal to PQ, BC is equal to QR and AC is equal to PR, we don't have to worry about the angles. We can be sure that the two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR are congruent. The next congruence property is SAS congruence property. SAS stands for side, angle and side. According to this property, two triangles are said to be congruent if two sides of one triangle are equal to two sides of the other triangle and also the included angle between the two sides of both the triangles has to be equal. So we have two sides and the angle in between them to be verified for the SAS property. Coming to our example, side AB is equal to side PQ, side BC is equal to side QR and angle B is equal to angle Q will make both the triangles congruent. Now we move on to the ASA congruence property. ASA stands for angle, side and angle. According to this property, two triangles are said to be congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle is equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side of the other triangle. Let us now understand the same concept using an example. In our given two triangles, angle B is same as angle Q. Angle C is same as angle R. And the included side BC is equal to the side QR. This means that the two triangles ABC and PQR are congruent according to the ASA congruence property. This takes us to our final congruence property. But before that, there is a quick question. We just learned that according to the ASA congruence property, we need to verify the equality of two angles and the included side of two triangles. But what would happen if we have any two angles and any one side of one triangle is equal to the corresponding two angles and the side of another triangle? If you know the answer, type it down in the comment section below.
along with the reason. We now move on to the RHS congruence property. RHS stands for right angle, hypotenuse and side. This is a special property to verify the congruence of right triangles only. In this property, the three conditions to be verified are right angle, hypotenuse and the side of one triangle should be equal to the right angle, hypotenuse and the corresponding side of the other triangle. Let us check that out with our example. In the given two triangles, angle B of the first triangle and angle Q of the second triangle are right angles. The next condition, hypotenuse AC of the first triangle is equal in length to the hypotenuse PR of the second triangle. And then we have side AB is equal to side PQ. This makes both the triangles ABC and PQR congruent to each other. Now let's get to know some facts about congruence of triangles. Two triangles may not be congruent if their corresponding angles are all equal. Next fact, congruent triangles can be rotated and they will still remain congruent. Also, mirror image of any triangle is congruent to the original triangle. Finally, let us understand how congruent triangles are generally drawn. Let us consider two congruent triangles. The sides that are crossed with a single small line are both equal. The sides crossed with two small lines are equal and the sides crossed with three small lines are also both equal. Similarly, in the two triangles, angles marked with one arc is both equal, angles marked with two small arcs are both equal and the angles marked with three small arcs are equal. Hope this video helped you understand congruent triangles. If you found it useful, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.